Welcome guardians to V2. We're really excited to have you back. And if you're new, thanks for checking us out this time around. Um, this video is going to really show folks how to use the V2 of the guard protocol, some of those features that are new and uh, how to take advantage of them. And then also how to migrate from V1 if you need help with that potentially. And so again, first things first that you're going to want to do is make sure that you migrate out of the V1 web app. And I know some folks have been confused about how to do that because when you go to guard.money, now there's this new V2 here. And so if you want to go to V1, you're actually going to want to go v1.guard.money and come on here. And so as normal, you would want to connect a wallet. So I will do that real quick. And I will use pair wallet. And again, make sure if you, uh, you know, need to read the terms and conditions, you do that, but I'll connect a wallet. I will, uh, just go through this real quick and I've already closed out my CDPs and migrated them. Uh, you can't make any new CDPs anymore, but if you did have any CDPs open, you would be able to repay them. One of the issues that some folks have been having is that they are not sure how to repay the CDP or what the guard that they have in their account means. And so if you only borrowed one guard and you didn't spend it, then it should be really easy to just repay your debt. It'll just be one guard. However, some folks did use guard to gain leverage as is another thing you can do with guard. And so if you don't have that guard, you can do two things, right? You can go back to a DEX and buy that guard back where you presumably sold it, or you can hop onto V2 first and mint the guard that you owe on V1 to repay it on V1 because we use the same token across V1 and V2 and we won't be discontinuing service for V1 anytime soon, but it is important to note that um, governance won't work on V1 anymore. You can't mint more guard on V1 and uh, eventually, you know, with with ample um, with ample warning, we will discontinue service for V1. So again, close out your CDP. There'll be the repay button, right? And uh, once you have your algos back, you can migrate over to V2, and we'll do the same thing, right? We will connect our wallet. Make sure you read the terms of service. Scan it. Connect the account you'd like to use and go ahead. So now we've got the appropriate, um, we've got the appropriate wallet connected. Um, and so again, V2 has some nice little updates, a really good way to get acquainted of everything you, with, or with everything you can do on V2 is just gonna be to read through the steps, right? Step one is connecting your wallet. Step two is getting guards. Step three is how do I actually get rewards with that guard, right? And if you want to get a more detailed look into that, you can actually hop into our Git book. And anyway, step two is getting guard, right? I already have connected my account. I've closed out of V1. So the two ways of doing that are going to be either to borrow guard or to swap guard, right? Uh, or to swap for guard, right? Swap algos for guard. I'm going to borrow guard. I already have one position open. And um, so I'm going to create a new position. I'm going to supply 100 algos and I'm going to borrow 10 guard. And a couple of things you're going to want to check is how much algo you're supplying, how much guard you're borrowing, um, the borrow utilization, all these different stats. We've got helpful tool tips, right? But the most important thing you're going to want to check out is the price that you get liquidated at, right? Again, it's important to note that there's risk to using the protocol, uh, just like there are potential incentives to doing so. And uh, just like AlgoFire folks finance, when you are borrowing an asset, you have a chance that uh, if the asset you've supplied loses its value, that you could lose that asset you've supplied as collateral. However, Guard is a stable coin. And um, if you don't actually spend the Guard, you could protect value by holding on to Guard. Even if you get liquidated, You'll still own the guard, assuming you haven't spent it, and um, that gives that can that can lead to some pretty good uh, preservation of value. Another thing to note is 
you're going to want to make sure you commit to governance, right? So if you cl click that button, you will automatically enroll in governance when you create a collateralized debt position. I will click create CDP now. I just logged back into Para and Sometimes Para takes a second, but I am now signing the transaction. It went through. And if the transaction doesn't go through for any reason, sometimes Para has issues. Maybe the other wallets will have issues, right? It's definitely important to just refresh the page, maybe quit out of your wallet, give it another shot. These connections sometimes have issues, right? But now that I have created the CDP, it's all gone through. There's probably a couple of things that you're going to want to check out. Number one is going to be, did you or did you not actually commit to governance, right? So if you want to check that out, go into Algo Governance, click on that button, and you can see the two positions that we've opened and committed to governance. To get more information on that, literally click on the governor page. You can find out all about how many Algo has been committed, make sure that everything's in good standing. And it's important to note that you're going to have to come back to the guard protocol and actually vote in governance, right? A unique part about guard is that you still own your algos, right? This is a self custodial platform. And so you own your algos, you have to vote with your algos. And we think that's a big advantage to using our platform for a governance solution. Another thing that you might want to do after you've borrowed is potentially repay some of the amount you've borrowed, right? If uh, you think the price of algo is going to decline, you want to lower your liquidation threshold, or if you think that really anything, you know, any adverse uh, event could happen, or if you just want to repay and close out the position entirely, those are all options, right? So we can go to manage position, and here's the different options. You can borrow more, guard against a position, you can supply more algos, you can repay the position or you can just flat out close the position. So we'll actually close the position because I've already opened up another position earlier that we'll, uh, we'll use to gain the appropriate exposure we want to governance, etc. So I will hit close position. I will make sure my wallet's open and sign into it. And then I will hit close. It'll send me a transaction. I'll confirm it. And now that position is closed once the transaction goes through. And here we go, success again. Now, another really exciting thing that you can do with your guard once you've borrowed it or swapped for it on an exchange is going to be staking the guard. This is a new feature we've added and it adds a lot of value for our users. Long term, this will always be a way for folks who have Guard to earn revenues from the protocol. Essentially, what we do here is we pay out uh, the majority of our protocol revenues into the staking pool, and that adds a lot of value to holding Guard, borrowing Guard, uh, however you get it. Um, and in the short term, there is a much greater incentive to participate in governance through the guard protocol, borrow guard and then stake it in our staking pool because we have a substantial grant from the Algorand Foundation. So every week for this quarter, we'll be buying up a thousand guard with algos we received in the grant and deploying 5,000 or more algos as bonus rewards every week. Right now, the APR is 147% and we will be certainly um, trying to keep that, that annual percentage rate up nice and high for everyone who's staking at the current rate. Even if we had a million bucks locked in staking, it would still be at about 20%. And uh, again, we, we may decide to deploy more guard each week than 5,000. So definitely uh, do your research, see if the using the protocol makes sense for you. Obviously, uh, I'm one of the creators of the protocol and if it makes sense, definitely participate in governance, stake some guard and, uh, you know, earn those rewards from the uh, foundation and from our protocol itself. The last thing you might want to do is if you've borrowed guard, 
swap guard for Alga so that you could buy an NFT. And um, to do that, you can do that natively on our platform or go to the DEX of your choice. We've integrated with one of our liquidity pools that's on PACT. So you can take guard, put that in, swap it for algos, and then take those algos to do a number of different things. We like to support the NFT community at guard. We've got a great partnership with the Guana fam. We've got uh, you know, some ins with Flemish Giants. We also um, really respect what Mingo's doing, and there's lots of other great projects. And if you want to use your governance bag to help support some NFT projects, then all you have to do is mint guard at a ratio you're comfortable with, and then come to this page to swap guard for algo. So I'll make sure my wallet's open again. Click on execute swap, confirm the transaction and I'm good to go. There we go, success. And again, I'll go back to my borrow page. I'll, you'll see that earlier I borrowed some more guard and I, I already swapped it for algos and this we can go buy an NFT. And so I already found one that I wanted. And so again, I will make sure I've got my wallet ready I will click on buy, I will confirm all my transactions, and we got an NFT as well. So this is just a great little intro, hopefully, for folks to take advantage of the guard protocol, uh, participate in governance, earn some pretty high staking rewards, and then you know go out into the Algorand ecosystem and uh, spread the wealth in the meantime while they wait for those governance rewards to pile in. One other thing to remember is make sure during the voting period to come back to the protocol and uh, vote on whatever the propositions end up being. So again, if you want to be extra safe, make sure you disconnect once you're done using the session and then, you know, we'll see you in the next video.